Mr. Bob Good. Thank you uh, to the distinguished gentleman from Arizona, Mr. Beggs, who has led four border trips that I have been on during my time in Congress. Been there six times, uh, but four times uh, under the leadership of Mr. Beggs. Appreciate his leadership on the Border Security Caucus and leading this special order tonight on this all important policy uh, depicting the harm being done in our country, the existential threat to our country, which is the border invasion. I find it interesting that Democrats don't care about the border invasion. They just don't like you to call it a border invasion. Democrats don't care about the illegal aliens flooding into our country. They just don't like you to call them illegal aliens. Because whether it's their policies on energy and climate, or national security, or national defense, or law enforcement, or pro-criminal, I should say, whether their policies on transgenderism, abortion extremism, or this policy of tonight, the immigration border invasion, Democrats cannot be honest with the American people about what they really believe and what they really want to do to our country, or they would never win another election. If the American people fully understood the harm the Democrat Party is doing with this border invasion, and that they are doing it on purpose, that it is the plan that they are executing, they would never win another election. That's why border czar Harris, who has massively failed at her one job, the one job we know that she was given as vice president, the border czar job, she's now trying to distance herself from this responsibility and the catastrophic impact upon the country. You see, the fundamental difference between Democrats, or VP Harris, and Republicans on the border and immigration is Republicans believe that America should decide who's able to come to our country and under what conditions. Democrats believe that everyone around the world, the 96% of the world's population that does not live in the United States, is entitled to come to America legally or illegally, and in spite of whatever their background, their intentions might be. For them, the non-citizens, the illegals, get to decide and set the policy. That is why they will never answer the question of how many is too many, or what is the end game? Is it because they believe that these illegals flooding our borders are just truly unregistered Democrats who will vote for them legally or illegally in the next election. That's why they oppose the SAVE Act. They didn't even want any efforts, any attempt to try to prohibit or prevent non-citizens from voting in our elections. Are there policies because they want to transform America by flooding our country with non-Americans who don't speak our language? who don't know or respect our laws, who haven't earned their citizenship or demonstrate they can contribute to our society and make us better and stronger, who aren't familiar with, much less devoted to our Constitution, who haven't embraced our values or culture, so that if you flood enough of them in here, illegally or otherwise, we will no longer at some point be America. How do they not care about their own DHS's numbers of some 12 million illegals who've come over the past four years, with some 3 million known gotaways, the truly dangerous ones who avoid apprehension, who avoid surrendering for the free social services, housing, education, health care, and so forth that's provided by the Biden-Harris administration. And the stress on our public safety, as has been so effectively shared tonight, by Congressman Biggs and the others who've spoken before me. Do the Democrats and border czar Harris not believe the border invasion is happening? Do they not believe it's a bad thing? Again, if the American people knew and understand the, understood the Democrat position on the border and the illegal invasion, they would never win another election if they realized they are doing this to us on purpose. Only time will tell how dangerous the illegals are whom the border czar Harris has helped invade our country. Only time will tell the harm that awaits the citizens of the United States from those who evaded apprehension 
those who have the criminal backgrounds, the terrorist ties, and are trafficking drugs and women and children into our country. This is Kamala Harris's America. And the American people are paying the price, as has been described so effectively here tonight. And the American people have had enough. Thank you, Congressman Biggs, for leading this special order tonight. And I yield. Thank, thank you, Mr. Good. It's a pleasure.